The airlines in the Middle East have called their or have started calling their redundant slash laid off cabin crew back. And if you are redundant and the laid off cabin crew and you want to know what questions you are going to be asked during your interview when they will call you to ensure that you really want to go back and fly, then you definitely need to stay until the last minute of this video. Let's As you all know, my social media learning platforms, uh, which are my YouTube channel, my Instagram account mainly, and my webpage are uh, related and are dedicated also to the current cabin crew. If you're a candidate for the job role of a cabin crew, then definitely this video is a good learning point for you to uh, learn some things that tomorrow you, you never know when you might be using them my name is julia george and i used to be a cabin crew for qatar airways and i have resigned from my last work position as a cabin service director and in today's video i will share with you what are the things and what are the questions that you should pay attention to prepare yourself when you will be having the interview with the recruiters and this video is not only important to qatar airways it's impor important to laid off laid off and uh, redundant cabin crew when it comes to emirates airlines etihad airways uh, fly dubai etc etc because we are going to be elaborating questions which are concerned for all all the human resources departments when they will be deciding to call their laid off cabin crew and not only qatar airways because the human resources standards and procedures are not unique to one airline they are unique and they are pretty much applicable to all the airlines so let's start the first question which i believe that they will Will ask you is where are you currently situated let's say I'm a redundant cabin crew from Macedonia the country where I'm born the first thing when the recruiters are gonna call me they will ask me whether I am in Macedonia or I perhaps in this period of time have moved maybe I have gotten married so this is a fair question to ask um, and to get asked to know where are you currently based um, another thing which I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video is that you're not going to be talking only to one recruiter, rather that might be two or three recruiters who are going to be sitting with you. You will be feeling that you are in a casual conversation, but you're not. You're at the end of the day again being interviewed, so please mind your posture, please mind your grooming. Uh, these are the points which I will cover at the end of this video, which you're supposed to pay attention. You cannot sit in front of the camera with the recruiter of the airline that you want to go back and fly for again being casual please mind your grooming um, when it comes to Qatar Airways ladies and gentlemen those of you that have been working for Qatar Airways you know that uh, we had certain I would say standards when it comes to grooming when we were visiting the Qatar Airways premises so this is pretty much applicable I would say prepare for this interview as you're preparing yourself for a cabin crew interview for the first time that means have your baby hair um, i mean if you're a, a lady of course have your hair tied in a bun have your immaculate um, makeup or uh, you know the perfect cabin crew makeup with the red lipstick and of course do not forget to be in the best mood to show that enthusiasm when you will be answering all the questions that we're going to be discussing in today's video a lot of things can happen and the second question which the recruiters might ask you is do you have any relatives or any you know cousins working in Qatar Airways because in this period of time we did not have cabin crew recruitments but we had recruitments for different departments that were happening um, data analysis to, I don't know the engineering uh, department was recruiting so on and so forth so maybe at this time some of you the laid off cabin crew got any of their family members working for Qatar Airways or for any other airline then the second question which they will ask you right after confirming where are you at this moment will be um, does any of your family members any of your relatives or any of your cousins in the meantime has started working for Qatar Airways during this period of time during the pandemic one thing I have been always particular about was you need to be able to show to the recruiters that you have been doing something at this time. This is not a casual interview. It's an interview where your skills are being updated. You have been recruited to fly for whatever airline you are planning to rejoin based on a certain set of skills that you 
show that you have displayed during your open day assessment and final interview that you have. And later on throughout your career, you have been able to demonstrate throughout your performance that you are able to straighten and you have actually straightened those skills. Now it's the time when the recruiters are going to be asking you what you have been doing during this period of time. Have you been working? Were you just sitting in, at home and waiting for the interview to happen? What new have you learned? Ladies and gentlemen, if you are redundant slash laid off cabin crew, you need to be able at this question to answer that you have learned something. Um, I'm very sorry to say this, but candidates who will say that they were just sitting at home and they were waiting for this call are not uh, likely are not going to have their chance very high because their set of skills has not been developed, has not been worked on, and simply the human resources teams will not trust to these candidates to go back and fly again. Not everyone is going to receive a positive um, outcome and a positive feedback from this interview. And on this question, please, you have been already employed with a company, do display that, let's say, you have learned something, you have been studying something, you have I don't know, you've been attending webinars, um, you have been completing your bachelor degree, your master degree, whatever that is. And if you have been working, they will most probably ask you about a notice period. Now, when it comes to this, do not be very casual and do not display that, you know, you're going to quit anytime just to join, because this is how you show respect to the company where you are at the moment. And you may say that, let's say in your contract, notice period uh, is not being specified. If it's not specified, if you need six months whatsoever, please display to the recruiters your level of uh, responsibility, of dedication and respect to the company where you are. Also, do not forget to share at this question how happy you were to be part of certain organization um, that has given you this opportunity during the COVID time that you are able to work, you know, and straighten and develop some new skills because this is something that the recruiters are definitely going to appreciate and uh, you will definitely get high marks on this question. If you, let's say, have been a student and during this time, during the COVID crisis, um, during the pandemic, you have been studying, this is a great chance for you to display and share to the recruiters of the company you have been previously working, what you have learned, what you have been studying, and if possible, try to connect that to your current cabin crew role that you want to be in. You have been interviewed to go back and fly for the airline and you have been, let's say, studying in the human resources teams, then do show or implement certain sentences that will demonstrate that you have gained a certain skill when it comes to human resources because you're looking at the personal growth or at the career growth in the airline where you want to go back and fly. Ladies and gentlemen, literally every answer that you have been given or you are giving in that in, in that interview is of utmost importance and will definitely be the um, core reason whether you're going to be taken back or not. Remember, in one of the chief executives of Qatar Airways um, interview, he has said that only the best ones who have been working towards achieving uh, all those awards in Qatar Airways uh, for being best airline, best business class, uh, best airport in the world as well. All the people that have been showing a remarkable results will be instantly taken. And this interview is actually an opportunity for you to display an understanding and to take pride. Do not forget in the value when it comes to Qatar Airways, one of the values that they have is uh, displaying pride in Qatar. And also at any point when you will be discussing with the recruiters, display your knowledge that you know what uh, have been happening with the company during this period of time while you were not flying with them. Another question which the recruiters are going to ask you is related to your appearance. Uh, remember, we had all as a humanity, as an as in irrespective of which country we're living, we all had hard times. And those hard times have not been influencing all of us equally. So maybe some of you have done a tattoo during this time. For instance, I'm not planning to rejoin and fly as a cabin crew, as you, most of you that uh, are on my social media learning platforms, you all know that I'm about to complete my master's studies in aviation management in Berlin, Germany. However, many have done uh, some tattoos, including myself. Again, I'm saying I've done 
the tattoo during this period of time. I had the time, I had the desire for it, and I had an, a vision, an idea of how I want my tattoo to look like. So if you have done certain changes, I don't know, maybe some of you have changed your hairstyle, anything can happen which can be visible. And if it's not visible, any mark, any scar whatsoever, this is the time when you guys have to be honest with the recruiters and you have to share it with them because later on, especially when it comes to Qatar Airways and Emirates Airlines, please, ladies and gentlemen, if certain things have happened when it comes to tattoos, scars, changes at your appearance, do share it uh, because I think that honesty and loyalty should be applicable at all stages. And since you have been uh, with the airline previously, then you definitely know what I'm talking about. And maybe the last question that you guys might get asked, and I do believe you're going to be asked, is related to the vaccination against COVID-19. Nowadays, hot topic, or since the vaccination actually has started, a hot topic around the world has been uh, the different vaccines, which some vaccines in some part of the world are not accepted. This video, it's not about it. If you have been vaccinated, just have your certificate with you or uh, any proof that you're going to demonstrate in this interview that you know you have been vaccinated. Or if you have not been vaccinated, then you know you're supposed to extend your will whether you want to be vaccinated or not. Definitely the topic whether you have been vaccinated or not is going to come up during that job interview. So be ready to discuss about it. Ladies and gentlemen, um, to end this video, I'm going to highlight once again, do not forget and do not underestimate the importance of your preparations when it comes to your personal grooming. You all know how you were dressed to go and visit Qatar Airways or Emirates Airlines or Etihad Airways premises when you are officially, you know, uh, communicating with people from the human resources teams. At the end of the day, this is an interview for you, so do be prepared. For the ladies, please have your immaculate makeup, your hair to be well done, as per the company standards. Have your pearl earrings. It's a great opportunity for you to have your pearl earrings and make your smile, that five-star smile, the same smile you have been working and making those unforgettable moments with your passengers on board the aircraft. For the gentlemen, of course, do have that clean shave unless you are working Working, let's say for Etihad Airways where a beard is allowed but have your grooming well done um, another thing which I will also highlight is your manicure ladies and gentlemen you all have an access I do believe or you all have an information and you all remember the grooming standards so make sure that your um, hands are well uh, manicured and you know your skin is at the end of the day well moisture and uh, last but not least which I also forgot to mention is that the recruiters will definitely ask you how is your body mass index your BMI you all know well what I'm talking about because during our flying time when we were cabin crew we were pretty much getting checked on our BMI for some airlines it was more particular for other it was okay to be a little bit overweight or underweight I would not discuss the weight requirements because if you have gained weight then watching this video is an alarm for you to maybe from tomorrow start a little bit of dieting, detoxing, just check with your nutrition or with your doctor um, anything that uh, can help you, you know, to lose that extra pounds or perhaps somebody is underweight and would want to, uh, you know, gain some uh, weight. We're all different. We're watching this video from different parts of the world. We all have different requirements. For the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen, due to the uh, really large numbers of messages that I get, I do believe that you send me a message over my Instagram account, Xcrew, next crew, which is which is a learning platform for current and future cabin crew. Um, I would be more than happy to answer your queries. Uh, sometimes on YouTube over here, I do answer the comments a couple of days later. Nevertheless, um, as mentioned, you're more than welcome to contact me over Xcrew, next crew on my Instagram account. And once you're done with your video interview for rejoining the airline, then you might also want to share your feedback, perhaps under this video, and let other candidates and other people um, know whether these were the questions that you got asked or perhaps you got asked some new questions. Thank you very much for watching this video. Click the subscribe button and I'm going to be seeing you very soon. Bye-bye and have a nice day.